Good evening and welcome. I'm Rose from the Daily News and joining me on tonight's program, we have staff from Adani. Now they're in town this week for the Adani Roadshow and uh, we'll start tonight with the General Manager for Adani, Mr Ian Sledgeman. Could you please begin by introducing your delegation? Oh Rose, I just want to say first how great it's to be, to be here and speak to all the viewers out there. And what we have to offer the people of Townsville are jobs. Oh, jobs, that's great. Jobs. Hey. Are, you, are you by chance looking for a new job? Oh, no, no. No, uh, please continue introducing your team. Yeah, well, Sledgeman's my name. Ivan Sledgeman. I began my career working in real estate on the Gold Coast, known as the White Shoes. And continue, and I've worked in large coal projects right around the world. Over to my left, we have Cash, Cash Converter. Cash is our environmental manager, and Cash has spent, spent all his years working in the gambling industry right around Australia. And over there, on my far left, we have our construction manager, Daisy. Daisy Black. Hey, knocking them down, knocking them down, that's what oh, I do. Uh, I just get in there and knock okay. them down. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, those, that's what we like to call Daisy. Those have spent her early working life working, life, working out in Western Queensland clearing scrub. She likes to tell us that she knocked down more trees than there are people in Australia. We're all in the yeah. The only problem is it's left her with a bit of condition in case that she, after what watch out, she, she dropped, drops, drops off. Yeah. The doctor said they can't do anything about it. It's a bit like shell shock. Well, that's a, quite a team you've got there. I'll, I'll get right into my questions. The first being, why are you here? Why the road show? Oh, look, look, Rose. Mr. Darnie, wherever he works, he wants the people to love him. And we know that the people of Queensland, the people of Townsville, they want jobs. And we're here to offer you jobs. 10,000 jobs, 20,000 jobs. Well, let me just interrupt there. Now, isn't there some disagreement about the number of jobs? Uh, I believe that an Adani spokesman told a group of traditional owners Expert witness. that the number of jobs was more like 1,400. Oh, well that's a traditional owners. They're really worried about outsiders overrunning their territory. So we like to we like to suit our answers to the audience. Now they don't want to hear about big numbers, so we talk about 1,400 people. But out here, the people of North Queensland, they want jobs. So we can talk about any number like 10,000, 20,000. How many jobs do you want? Look, hold on, Mr. Sledgeman. Let's be realistic here. No, oh, you don't understand, Rose. It's the multiplier effect. The multiplier effect is fantastic. Look, you're here today interviewing me. That's one job. The taxi driver who bought us, that's another job. Think about the cleaners who are going to clean up, that's another job. The multiplier effect, it's amazing. We can give you any number of jobs you want. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's move on now. Let's talk about Adani's environmental record. Now, Environmental Justice Australia has just in, uh, investigated Adani's record in India, and I must say, it's, it's not too flash. We've got mangrove forest destruction. We've got environmental regulations just discarded. There's environmental pollution going on. You know, what do you say about that? It's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. It's all about corruption, that's the problem. Authorities bring these things up just so they can get more bribes from the company to continue operation. <laughs> so, is that to say that these reports are in fact not true? Oh, not true. I didn't say that. After all, if you don't have development, you must have some negative effects. You've got to expect that for development. In the industry, we like to call it coal lateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, a mangrove forest here. Aquifers there, lots of pollution, but you can't turn away progress. You've got to put up with that. The show must go on. But the mangrove forest destruction. Forest destruction? Oh, knocking them down, knocking them down. <laughs> when I was on my bulldozer in the 60s, that's what we do. I worked through my lunch hour, just knocking them down, knocking them down. <laughs> Climate change. Now, if this mine went ahead, 
it would be one of the largest in the world. Now, most countries in the world are moving rapidly away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy, including India. So, aren't Adani concerned about the changes to the world's climate from their mining operations? Oh, I can answer that one, Rose. This is all just environmental twaddle. That's all you hear. It's, what we really need to hear is a good dose of realism. If we want to keep on consuming more and more, then we have to put up with coal lateral damage. <laughs> so, and the are doing our bit to help with rising temperatures. Oh, in here. is that so? Please, please tell me more. Well, there's this great tree planting scheme we've got going in India. Trees are very good. Trees, 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 trees! Knock it on down! Knock it on down! Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Listen back. Dave, you'll be right. We'll get you back on your bulldozer before too long. But before we finish, Rose, I just want to tell the people how much Adani loves working in Australia and how much he loves Australian governments. Is that so? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Mr. Adani said his Christmas was made when he got that postcard from Melbourne. A postcard from Malcolm Turnbull, and in it was an offer, an offer of one billion dollars to build a loan, no interest loan, to build that rail line from Carmichael Mine to the coast. Now he doesn't get, get that sort of cooperation even in India. And Mr. Dunn just loves Australian colloquialism. Could you please give our audience here tonight an example? Oh. Well, the example that he often uses is pissing in your pockets. <laughs> Dunn, Dunn loves it. Phrase, at the Adani Christmas party in Delhi last year, the Australian ambassador told him that's a cloakless and often used. He said, if Adani builds a big mine in Queensland for a few jobs, some mega royalties, for a huge amount of coal and leaves us all with environmental damage and other costs, some Australians would say that's pissing in your pockets. Oh. Yeah, and Mr. Adani, Mr. Adani said every time he comes to Queensland, He's coming over to piss in Anastasia's pocket. Because Anastasia's one of his favourite politicians. Well, I tell you what, folks. Anastasia might be a Dani's favourite politician, but she ain't ours. Woo! Not our 